Well, good morning, Hawaii. It is now Sunday, August 13th. I'm Lindsay Fukano. And we do begin on Maui this morning, where students, they were left behind after school last week, and it was all because of that shortage of bus drivers. Island News reporter Mika Miyashima reports that she spoke with parents of those students who say the situation is unacceptable. A fire at a composting facility in Maui burning throughout the night as the Maui Fire Department says they arrived at the situation at 3 Friday afternoon. Crews found a 15 foot tall 300 square foot pile of green waste and some nearby tires on fire. Now smoky conditions they forced the smoldering fire and the central Maui landfill to close on Saturday. Well one person killed 19 others injured in Virginia after a car plowed into a crowd of demonstrators. ABC's Megan Hughes reports the horrific scene unfolded during a day of violent clashes between white nationalists and counter-terrorists. Congresswoman Colleen Hanabusa has her eyes on the state capitol this morning as Civil Beat reports Hanabusa may challenge Governor David Ige in 2018. Hanabusa says Governor Ige has not presented a vision for Hawaii, even with a Democratic majority in office. Governor Ige issued a statement to Civil Beat saying he will not comment on the undeclared candidates for governor or their allegations. And in the future, he said there will be ample time to discuss the accomplishments of his administration. And when she was asked if she would run for governor earlier this month, well, Anabusa told Island News that she was keeping her options open. We'll send things over now to weather with our Jordan Segundo. He has a look at our Sunday forecast. Jordan, winds sticking around for today? That's right, Lindsay. Very good. Thanks, Jordan. Well, Farrington Highway westbound will be closed between Waiaba Road and the on-ramp to Kamehameha Highway. It's all starting tonight, and that closure, it does run from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. for electrical maintenance. Drivers heading westbound will be detoured around the closure through the H1 or H2 freeways. Well, football season is here and Marcus Mariota making his long anticipated return to the field. St. Louis grad put to the test as the Titans face the Jets. Welcome back to Good Morning Hawaii. Well, from the budget to design to building day, it was all things DIY for all you do-it-yourself enthusiasts. This is at the Summer Home and Remodeling Show. And it's the Building Industry Association of Hawaii's second consumer show of the year. Services and products from licensed contractors and suppliers, they are all on display throughout the Neil Blaisdell Exhibition Hall. Remodeling experts also on hand offering seminars and various remodeling issues like dwelling units for accessories. It was all throughout the day. Until we have enough homes, uh, families have been very active in adding on to their home to accommodate multifamily generational living. Um, so um, that's, that's the activity that we're, we've been experiencing here in our remodeling industry. Well, the summer home building and remodeling show does continue on today. Doors open at 930. Five college students and next generation leaders from Papakolea have new scholarships this morning. They were awarded the second annual Papakolea Paine on Saturday. The scholarships totaled nearly $5,000. The celebration put on by the Papakolea Community Development Corporation, that's a community-based nonprofit, providing a full range of comprehensive services to area residents. The money is the result of employees wanting to give back to their community in a meaningful way. I'm hoping this is just uh, the first step. Like I told everyone inside, I hope next year we're giving away $10,000 in scholarships. Today we gave away about 4,800. So the hope is we can grow this event and make it something our community looks forward to every year. Now those scholarships can be used for tuition, fees, or books. In a committee of community leaders, they select recipients based on their academic excellence, community service, and involvement in extracurricular activities. Well, 15. 
19 Army veterans presented with the Purple Heart Award at the Oahu Veterans Center in Salt Lake yesterday. The Purple Heart is awarded to members of the armed forces who are wounded or killed in combat. And among the recipients, two combat veterans from World War II, seven from the Korean War, and six from the Vietnam War. Henry Lee was wounded after a helicopter crashed in the rice fields during the Vietnam War back in 1968. He says when that happened, his life flashed before his eyes. The 15 or 20 seconds that we were in the air coming down, it, it was, it was mind-boggling. I mean, I had about, I guess my life went through uh, different stages in uh, just a matter of a few seconds. They received this award because of blood they spilled on the battlefield, that they were willing to put their own lives on the line for their fellow soldier, airman, marine, or sailor, uh, and for this country, and for that we are all grateful. And during World War II, the Korean and Vietnam Wars, Purple Hearts were given on the spot, but not always recorded in the books. Now, military protocols require a member of Congress to make the official presentation. And still ahead on Good Morning Hawaii, the Holy Rollers. That's right, nuns on skates, how they're taking on a Texas Bayfront by storm. You're watching Hawaii's only local weekend morning news. Welcome back to Good Morning Hawaii, now 723. Well, thousands of visitors walk the Corpus Christi Bayfront during the summertime. They absolutely do, but this summer, there's actually a different site that visitors can't get enough of. ABC's Brianna Whitney reports from Texas. I mean, I think the only unusual thing about it is that they're dressed, you know, in their nun outfits. I know. Right? It's like the flying nun <laughs> on skates. <laughs> yeah. Those rolling nuns, they know how to have a good time. They do. They absolutely do. That's, a, that's impressive, too, to ride around in that I outfit know. and that heat. Must be really. <laughs> oh, my that's goodness. Right. But it's great rollerblading weather here in Hawaii, too, so that kind perfect. of inspired us to head outdoors. Absolutely <laughs> perfect for rollerblading. And uh, outside, looking, looking pretty good. It's looking gorgeous. Here's a look at our 